of my friends who feel guilty, uh, shame even, embarrassment that their kids aren't following Jesus. And they went to church, they did devotions, they did worship night, mm -hmm. they immersed them into a world of faith and Christianity, and yet their kids, even older teenagers to like 20 somethings aren't following Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what would your thoughts and advice be to them? I would just say, hang in there. Mm -hmm. Because much like you know what you've said too in your life is, uh, my parents did so much right. They got us heavily involved in church. So we were an active family in the church. Um, they raised us to be strong Christians. And, and when I was a teenager, I just made some decisions. And so I went the other direction and I lived for several years without following the Lord. And uh, and he pursues his kids. Mm -hmm. And so what my parents did, I'm sure that they wore holes on the floor and they're with their knees trying to pray me through that, but they loved me. They had open arms for me. There was no judgment. It was just love. And I always had a place with them. And, and because he pursues his kids, yeah. I, I came yeah. home. And, uh, and I don't know that I can speak for everybody's story, but, but we do know that we serve a God who, who goes and he gets his kids. And, and our kids are more valuable to him than they are to us even. Yeah. And he wants them home even more than we do. I would, I would advise parents to grieve a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, because we all have this imagined future for our kids. And when we get to those places and things don't pan out the way we hoped, it's sad mm -hmm. and it's heavy. And so grieve any way you know how, you know, submit that grief to God and focus on the present because you could still have a more imagined future, like things that you're thinking of in the future, mm -hmm. like that you want to see them see happen. And kind of predict if my kid continues on this path, this is where they're heading, but that is not your job. Your job mm -hmm. is not to futurize, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's not helpful. And so just focus on the present and grieve what you've lost mm -hmm. in the present. Well, as you yeah. were talking, I was reminded of um, Psalm 23, where it just says, um, every day your love and goodness follows me. Mm -hmm. And I think like for, for parents to speak that over the lives of their children. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, it's really sad and it's really painful when your children's life doesn't pan out the way you thought or hoped or dreamt it would. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to remember that like, like you said, God loves them more than you do. Mm -hmm. if you can even fathom that. Yeah. And just to remain in that truth. Grieve, feel your pain, but yeah. remain in the truth. Yeah.